The information presented in this video is for high-level awareness only. This is not intended to serve as training. Stratus configuration remains under development. Any features shown in this video are subject to change. With Stratus, you will have the ability to create expense items and reports directly within the application. This video will discuss creating expense items and reports directly within Stratus. From your Stratus homepage, under Me, click on Expenses. This screen will be blank the first time you come into it. Once you begin creating expense items and reports, the screen will display expense reports across the top into the info tiles and individual expense items in the list on the bottom portion of the page under Available Expense Items. You can enter individual expense items by clicking on the Create Item button under Available Expense Items. Then, select the Date, Appropriate Expense Template, and Appropriate Expense Type from here, you have the ability to add the expense item to an existing report, save and create another, or saving and closing to edit or use at a later time. Here, we will begin by selecting Create Report. An expense report contains multiple expense items to which you are requesting reimbursement for. An expense report can contain one or many expense items. In this video, we are creating an expense report to request reimbursement for an overnight trip we took. Therefore, I will begin by entering the same purpose I used on my approval travel authorization request. I can also attach backup documentation by clicking the Add in the Attachment field. Here, I can upload any documents I may need to. When done, click OK. Enter any comments or notes in the Comments field. Use the drop-down box to answer if you are a U.S. citizen or non-resident alien. To begin adding expense items to the report, click on Create Item. Select the date of the expense item. Select the correct expense template. In this case, it is out-of-state travel. And then select the appropriate expense type for which you are requesting reimbursement. In this situation, we will select Airfare. Fill in the expense location and the amount for reimbursement. You have the option to add additional information, such as description and merchant name. Then you can attach your receipts and other backup documentation in the Attachments field by either dragging in your files to the space or clicking the link to upload receipts from your saved files. Since this was an overnight trip, the trip needed to be approved prior to the travel occurring. This was completed by submitting an authorization request. These types of expenses require an approved travel authorization to be attached to the expense when requesting reimbursement. To attach the authorization, click the Add button next to Authorization. When you click to add the authorization request to the expense report, the system will bring up a list of open authorization requests you may have. Select the appropriate line to match this expense report and click OK. The account field will tell you where the expense item is being charged. You can use the icon next to the account field to change the accounting information. The expenses to be split among various departments, you can add lines to the bottom of the page by clicking the Add button next to the itemization. Fill in the information requested on the line and use the icon next to the account field to change the accounting information. Please note that if you itemize expense items, some of the information disappears from the header line and needs to be entered at the itemization level. For example, the authorization. Then click the Add button next to an itemization again to add another line to charge a specific account to another department and or account. You can add as many lines as necessary. Once you have completed entering the expense item, you can click on Save and Close to go back to your expense report. At this point, you can continue to add additional expense items to the report. Or, if the expense items have already been created, you can add them to the expense report by selecting Add Existing. Add Existing will bring up a list of expense items that have been created but are not part of an expense report yet. Select the items from the list to add to the expense report and click OK. Your additional items will appear in the list of the items contained within the expense report. Once the expense report is complete, check the Travel and Expense Policies box and the expense report can be submitted. When the form is submitted, it goes to your immediate supervisor for approval and to any necessary cost center managers for approval. For more information, please visit our website, towson.edu stratus.